So this is a precision tool that now allows uh, us to take this protein RNA complex and introduce it into cells or tissues to correct mutations at sites where we know there's a deleterious change in the genetic code. So I wanted to show you an example of how this can be utilized. This um, protein complex can actually be injected directly into fertilized eggs of a mouse. And in the experiment, you'll see we're targeting a gene that is responsible for the black coat color in mice. And so normally, these mice have beautiful, glossy black coats. And once we make this targeted change, we then implant these edited eggs back into a, a female mouse. And when she gives birth to pups, you'll see that the pups are now mostly white. And the remarkable thing about this experiment is that, that when these mouse mice grow up, you can test them and show that every cell in the body has this single genetic change that gives rise to the white coat color, but otherwise they're absolutely normal. So they are normal mice, no mutations elsewhere in the genome. This is a type of experiment that used to take a, at least a year to create a, a mouse like this, and now it can be done in a few weeks um, and by people that don't have to have special expertise. So this is a uh, technology has over the, it's been very exciting over the last two and a half years to see this technology taking off. These are publications in the scientific literature. It's been sort of exponential growth of publications, people using this technology for all sorts of applications. And so uh, some of these include making changes, in, uh, targeted genetic changes in plants, in uh, fungi, in uh, animals that are important agriculturally, in, in animals that are important to us as pets, um, and also for, in thinking about human health, also uh, to do things like make changes in stem cells, which are cells that can give rise to new organs. Uh, also to make changes in animals that are important as uh, models of human disease, such as mice and monkeys. And we think within the not too distant future, it will be possible to actually use this technology to make changes in humans.